Hi guys, um, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I am a cardiologist um, and uh, over the past few months I've been doing a series of videos on the subject of ectopics, PVCs, PACs and um, uh, I've met a lot of new people and uh, I've come to realize how troublesome they are and how much fear they generate. And uh, in a lot of my videos, I've talked about the utility of magnesium and how magnesium can help. And certainly anecdotally, uh, I've had a lot of people come back to me and say, well, magnesium supplements have made a difference. It all makes sense. But the reason um, they're not generally routinely prescribed is because um, there's been this, you know, people, people tend to practice evidence-based medicine these days. And therefore, um, doctors need some proof and that it works. All right. So today I was uh, going through um, trying to do some research and I found a very interesting study. And I thought I'd share it with you, uh, which to my mind is definitive proof that magnesium works. Okay. So this study was published in a Brazilian journal in 2012 in May. The last author is Francisco Darieux and the journal is Ar Archivos Brasileiros de Cardiologia. Okay, but the, the paper is in English. And basically what these guys did was um, they took uh, 60 people, all right, and they decided to assign them into two groups. One group was given magnesium pidolate, all right, which is a magnesium preparation, and the other group was given placebo. And what they did was they um, randomized these patients to one of these two groups, and um, <clears throat> the, the, the dose of the tablet was given for 30 consecutive days, okay? And the magnesium pidolate, the dose was three grams per day for 30 days. And what they did was they did a 24-hour halter at baseline and after 30 days of use of the medication. And they calculated the number of premature complexes before and after. And they also asked the patients whether they felt that there had been a reduction in their PVCs um, um, after the medication. So what they did was they had 60 patients, the mean age was 46 years, and 55% of these patients were women. And all patients had more than 10 premature ventricular complexes or premature complexes per hour. So more than 10 per hour, okay? And uh, they did the halter and they, and they then did the halter after 30 days. Um, and what they found was that in the group that took the magnesium pidolate, P-I-D-O-L-A-T-E, there was a 76% 76, 76 of the patients uh, had a reduction in their premature complexes of more than 70%, all right? 10% of the patients had a PVC reduction more than 50%, and only 13% had PVC reduction of less than 50%. Whereas in the placebo group, 40% showed a very slight improvement, but no one improved more than 30%. Okay. And, um, um, and the other thing to say is that um, in terms of symptoms, asking patients about their symptoms, in the placebo group, only 16% felt, oh, you know, our, our symptoms are less, but 93.3% of patients found that after taking magnesium, they had a symptomatic improvement. So there's a difference between how many premature complexes you're getting on the halter and how much in the way of symptoms you're getting. So 93% of patients found that their symptoms got better with um, a one month course of um, magnesium pidolate compared to placebo, all right? The most interesting thing is 
that when you measure the serum magnesium, there was really no change in the two groups. So even after giving these people a month's supply of magnesium pitolate, there was really no change in the serum magnesium, which tells us that you cannot rely on the serum magnesium to tell you whether you're magnesium deficient or not. All right. A lot of people have asked me about diarrhea, etc. Only one patient in this whole group out of 60 had to discontinue this protocol after 10 days due to diarrhea. And the diarrhea resolved straight after 24 hours. So that tells us that um, compared to placebo, magnesium pitolate not only de decreases the density of premature ventricular and supraventricular complexes, but also improves um, the symptoms. All right. And um, there is no doubt we know that magnesium is a vital um, uh, iron in our bodies. We don't take enough of it because a lot of processing destroys the magnesium. Uh, so this is not surprising. But, and it's also worth bearing in mind that there are certain conditions that people suffer from, which you may not necessarily associate with magnesium deficiency, but things like high blood pressure, heart failure, diabetes, um, can all cause magnesium deficiency. And actually, you know, in the past, there have been studies which have shown that just taking some magnesium for eight weeks will lower your blood pressure. Um, and also, if you're on, say, diuretics or if you're on uh, aminoglycosides, uh, in those people, you can get magnesium deficiency as well. So although this is a small study, it's really valuable data. And it tells you that, you know, that the chances of um, the, that there's a high likelihood that your symptoms will get better if you take magnesium pitolate. Number two, it tells you that the discontinuation rate due to diarrhea was only one in 60, all right? Um, now, I also went then further and there was another study that was done as a follow-up from this study where they found that some people do relapse after discontinuing the magnesium, i.e. their ectopics come back or their palpitations do come back after a few months, but if they then go back on the magnesium, then that tends to settle it as well. So, so for all of you um, who have been writing into me and saying, which magnesium should I take? Uh, how long should I take it for? What about diarrhea, etc.? Well, now, to my mind, you have a study which says take magnesium pitolate, okay, at a dose of, um, uh, sorry, let me just tell you what the dose was. Um, magnesium pitolate at a dose of three grams per day for 30 days. If you take that, you should find that it, um, it makes a significant improvement to your palpitations. So I hope this was really useful. Uh, I'm certainly really, really happy that I found this study because I think that this is the kind of proof that we needed to try and really feel confident about taking a bit of magnesium uh, and seeing what that does for us. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. Um, this is my Twitter handle. And I'm on Facebook, as a lot of you know. And you can also contact me uh, through yourcardiology.co.uk. In fact, th this is my preferred um, way of being contacted. You can contact my secretary on uh, 01904725811. Her name is Jeanette, and she's very nice. So if you want to speak to me, I'm sure Jeanette can facilitate that. Uh, the only other thing I'd request is that please, 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 if you wouldn't mind sharing this video with other people um, and liking it, etc., uh, that really helped me out. So um, I hope this was useful. Thanks very much. Take care.